Organ donation is a modern medical miracle, though if you are or a loved one is not going through it, one most people don't think very much about. But for the tens of thousands of Americans waiting on a match, the struggle of all of this reality is all too familiar. Tonight, Kate Hems McKinney, Noah McKinney spoke with an Abilene mother of seven who has continued working through her dialysis as she hopes and prays daily for a match to come through and sharing with us the reality of life on the wait list. For Abilene resident Kelsey Daughtry, today is a special day. It's the best time. Memories I love to make. Not only is it her daughter's 11th birthday, but it's one of the rare times that she has the energy to join in the fun. Okay, quick. Most of the time, I really can't do nothing but lay down and sleep. Born with a disease of the kidney, she has dealt with infections and antibiotics all her life, but that took a turn in 2021. I had a really bad toothache. They gave me antibiotics. Didn't work. A nurse's words just two days later, spelling out the trajectory of her next three years. And she was like, you're in renal failure. You have to get um, started on dialysis as soon as possible. With a full-time job and seven children to provide for, Daughtry says she wasn't sure dialysis would mix with her busy life. Somebody told me it was like equivalent to running like uh, 10 miles. It's a struggle having to get up every day. You're not feeling your best. In her work at the Southwest Transplant Alliance, Kelly James has seen firsthand the struggles those like Daughtry face as their name sits on a list that isn't exactly shrinking. There's 100,000 people across the United States who are waiting for the gift of life and 10,000 of them live right here in Texas. Daughtry is still in the process of getting on that list, knowing it may be years before she ever finds a match she says life just has to go on. I have my good days and I have my bad, but I still take care of my kids. Hoping to set an example while she can. Like, you gotta be strong through everything. That they'll be all right when I leave. Like, I believe they'll be okay. A symbol of that strength raised high above Hendrick Medical Center South on Tuesday, recognizing National Donate Life Month and raising awareness of the impact a single person can have by choosing to become a donor. It's just a complete game changer. They get their second chance at life. Life and all those little moments that make it worth living. Just simple things, you know. And I'm glad I'm able to have my baby a party. The selfless decision of one person, ensuring that the best moments aren't behind, but ahead, just waiting to be enjoyed. It's the best thing ever to me. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. As you stated, April is National Donate Life Month, recognizing donors, living and deceased, and organizations like Hendrick and the Southwest Transplant Alliance, hoping to dispel the misconceptions about donation so that more people will sign up and save the lives of those waiting for their match.